Welcome back my friends, uh, this video will be very quick because we're just gonna start um, CSS Grid and we're just gonna define what's explicit, what's the difference between explicit and, uh, and, and implicit. So here we already have created our, our wrapper with uh, 10 items inside. So what we can do in order to initiate, to start the uh, to start the CSS grid, we need to first say display and then grid. But we also need to target the wrapper class. This class can be anything you want. Container. I don't use container because there is a CSS uh, grid uh, container. So here it is. Nothing will change because we haven't uh, done um, something else. So here in explicit, the difference that we can tell we can tell to create a grid for example with four columns i just want to here have four different columns let's say it like this and the the vocabulary is grid we are just gonna learn much more about this in the next lecture lecture grid te template columns and here we can we can say repeat we can learn how to do this a little bit different one fr this is fractional unit you don't have to know what what does that mean at this stage so this is we are telling our grid to to create explicitly four different columns and now if we refresh here and do I target the, the right class probably display grid it's not correct and that's why it's not working here it is so we can just get inspect the element right now I'm just gonna click here on the grid or you can just toggle here on this one so my uh, display and line numbers and display like I can just make it like this and you will see so this is we explicitly tell that we need to have this and also let's put it like this text align center in uh, order to have the to be able you to see the numbers right because one wasn't visible so we have one two three four columns but this second and third row that's how that's the difference with the, between in, implicit uh, explicit and implicit right and here we have three rows that that is created and it's called actually two new rows here and that's implicit they're creating we have declare anything about it so there is a grid auto rows we can also define that and we can define the height for example let's put it a hundred pixels let's see what's happening so here we are just saying create as much as rows as it needs in order to fit everything else inside right and here if I put uh, in item number 11 it will be next to the number 10 right if I put two new items it will be new row created for, with 12 and number 13 will be at the bottom uh, in the new row there it is so uh, that is how we that's the difference between implicitly or explicitly also what we can create here we can just tell how many rows we want we can do that as well but at this stage we don't need so basically what you need to know how to start the grid that we can define columns and rows if I make this one like this it will not, it will only affect the height there will be still four rows one two three four rows right and um, you can choose this one to extend the lines infinitely if you want I'm not gonna do that one in a moment so basically I have a wrapper with 13 items inside that's how they call this is called this is called a cell right and um, so also what you need to know that these items define here we can also make we can also change their location we will learn how to do that so that's pretty much it for this lecture we we learn how to create a grid 
Now you know how to use Firefox in order to see this. So display grid, you can see if you if you don't do this, it will be like this. If you untile this one, and you can just always mark that one. Now you know the difference between implicit and explicit. So that's pretty much it. And we implicitly told how many template columns, and we can just untitle this one, and it will only affect the height of it. Let's put it 50. It's too much. So in next class, we will learn something more amazing, how we can deal with this grid. Because, but grid is very, very interesting, and you, it's must in 2019 and 20. So if you want to build an awesome layout, this is, this is the thing that you need to learn. So thank you very much, and see you in the next lecture. Enjoy. Bye.